What's up? This is Mocha Girl 98 here. Um, today, what I'm going to do is I am going to go find the gold loot chest for my hunter. I have pretty much found all of them for uh, the rest of my characters. But I thought, while I do it for my hunter, I will take you guys with me because I'm sure there's lots of people who are doing the same thing and looking for gold chest. Before I do that, though, I am going to stop by the tower and see what rewards I have waiting for me. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Uh, once again, my name is Smokagirl98. I'm also a Sherpa, so if you need to get through a level, let me know. Um, I, I don't really do raids or Prison of Elders unless you have a team ready to go. Because um, I'm pretty picky on my friends list. Uh, let me open up my fire team. So how that would work is basically you would join me. I would promote you to leader and we would get through whichever uh, level you're having a hard time getting through. So once again, I am going to go to the tower, check out what I have waiting for me. And this is just purely going to be... Checking. Well, I have the last word. Uh, pure, purely going to be for um, just finding chest and then I might do some bounties with a different character later on or if somebody needs help just let me know and I will jump in and help you because that's what I do all right these engrams were buried under Hong Kong I suspected you I'm OCD I have to make sure I don't have any explanation marks at the tower I'm just weird like that. I can't help it. All right. So first place we are going to do go is Earth. Um, so we're going to Earth. And the first location will be Dock 13, which I'm pretty sure I already got that one. But I will show you where the location of it is anyway. So what we're going to do is we are going to um, go under patrol. So I hope you guys had an awesome weekend. My weekend was spent with friends, of course, on PlayStation. I've been off and on a lot lately. I do apologize. I will have a more steady schedule. I've just been a bit underneath the weather lately. Well, you lead the way. Um, I do not have my video camera on because I am laying down on my couch because I'm still not feeling too great. So, I do apologize for that. So I'm going to ignore that weekly event because I really don't care. I just want you guys to know where the chests are. And I can't jump worth crap with my stupid hunter. Alright. So, your first chest would be right there. But I've already picked it up. So a second chest is going to be... Um, in the Lunar Complex, or Lunar Complex, however you want to say it. Um, should I do an event? What the heck? We'll do a quick event. What do you guys say? Knew we'd get into this. I don't know why, but I feel like doing it. Wave one complete. To drop on us. Uh, 
No, Jazzy, I already fed you. Occasionally, you guys will hear me talking to my dog, because she is a needy little puppy. She thinks she needs to eat all day, every day. She eats like three to four times a day as it is, so I am not starving her, I promise you that. I have more food in my house for my dog than I do for myself. I love his shots and make my day. Well done. That was only two rounds, but I'll take it. Alright, so we're going to the Lunar Complex. So get on your sparrow. And the Lunar Complex is over in the Skywatch area. So that is where we are going. I think I got the chest over on this one too because it's pretty easy to find. But I will show you where it is. I guess I got so used to playing my Titan, I've been working on upgrading all my stuff because I want to have everything all upgraded by the time the new DLC comes out. So I'm focusing on one character at a time on my spare time. That was a horrible hit shot, sorry guys. So you're going to go through these tunnels. When I take a right up here, I'm going to have two drags I'm going to have to kill. Oh, I'm sorry. A left. Then a right. Okay. So I'm going to kill these two drags. And then we're going to go through the room for, full of the um, clown guys. I call them clown guys. Jazzy, no. Because they look like clowns. I know that's not the appro appropriate name for it, so I do apologize. Alright, and now I'm going to come up here. There's going to be a witch, or a wizard, or maybe not. There she is. So I'm going to blow her up just because I think it's fun. Try to clear this part out as much as possible. And if you come up here, there's usually a gold chest, like right here. But it's up in this area. I can't remember the exact spot. I think it was like right in that area. And I'm going to take a second to feed my dog because she is driving me crazy at this point of time. Um, the next chest that we're going to get is in the moth yards um so it's basically like on your way to the forgotten shore there's the cave and in the cave is a chest and i know i didn't get this chest with my uh hunter because i just figured this out a few days ago but first i gotta give the min pin some food or she's gonna keep drumming 
and I can't think when the dog's drumming. I say drumming because what she does is she sits there and she paws her bowl and makes me go crazy. So, I am trained by my minpin, yes. That is an unfortunate but true fact. There you go, Jazzy. She just stayed a couple of hours ago, too. But that's okay. Whatever makes her happy, makes me happy. Alright, so next is the Forgotten Shore. Or the Moth Yards, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to go back out. That's why I wanted to clear it out some. Go down the stairs. <laughs> Sneak past the sky. Hopefully I don't die from the fall. Cool, I did not. Jump on my sparrow, and here we go. So, you go down like you're going into the Forgotten Shores. And you pass this waterfall here. And... That cave right there has one of those golden chests that you are looking for. So... I'm going to go get it, because like I said, I know for a fact I don't have it on this character. And there's the golden chest. Hold on. Hold on. Alright, so the next one is in the Forgotten Shore. So we're going to go down there. And basically, you're going to follow the water all the way to the end. And there's two ways. You can run in this water, because it's shallow enough where you can run and you don't die. Or you could go off the cliff and land on um, some rocks. It doesn't matter which way you do it. I'm going to run in the shallow water just because I can. And come around the corner. And there is your golden chest. Yay, I got a sparrow. I'm so excited. Alright, so that's number four. Number five, you only could get in the devil, uh, devil layers strike. So, that's what we're going to do so I can show you. I don't mind doing strikes so I can show you guys what I'm doing. And we're almost complete with earth. So we're going to go to the strike. Ah, here we go. Luckily, this is one of the easier strikes. It doesn't take too long to get through. The Fallen will continue to claw at the walls of our city unless we strike them down. Beneath the ruins of the Cosmodrome, in the shadow of an old colony ship, we've located the House of Devil's Lair and the High Civitor, feeding them their strength. We must destroy this machine guard. 
and send their souls screaming back to hell. So once again, uh, just for advertising, I am going to be doing... I forgot to make a private party. Okay, so once again, I am going to be doing the Sherpa thing. Um, anybody under level 20 who needs help getting past levels, I am more than help, willing to help uh, help you do that. Just jump in my stream. I have opened it up to public. Um, the only thing I ask is, one, you have to be willing to allow me to stream it. And two, you have to pay it forward. Meaning, if somebody else needs help later on when you're a higher level or, or even at a lower level, you, you help them. Because that's what the Destiny environment is all about is teamwork and all that other stuff and I would have never gotten to where I am today if I didn't have help from other destiny Fallen players Empire. let's hope we can avoid the crossfire Punched a drag in the face. I don't even know why I'm fighting these guys. I have no idea. Let's catch up with our team members, eh? So if I'm stuttering today also, um, sorry about that. I have a bit of a headache. Um, I have something called dysautonomia, which is basically an illness that makes your organs malfunction and it's just not a whole lot of fun. But anyway, uh, my heart rate has been extremely high for the last couple of days. That's the reason why my camera is not on, because I have to lay down. If I stand up, it's going to go up even higher, or even set up at this point. So, um, if I stutter a little bit, I honestly right. am not feeling too hot, here, so see. I do apologize. Um, so this is probably not going to be one of my best streams, but... You know what? It's all good, because I get to spend my day with you guys. So... Pretty complex. I'll need time. It's pretty complex. He'll need time. He always needs time. I think Ghost has the easiest job. All he has to do is be sarcastic. I think I could do that job pretty well. I'm known for my sarcasm. Sarcasm. See, I can't even say sarcasm. <laughs> So, I've been playing a lot of sleeping dogs lately. I forgot how much I love that game. Um, back in the day, I was really into martial arts and stuff, so I really like street fighting games too. And I had it on PlayStation 3. Or, yeah, PlayStation 3. But, um, I was really debating hard if I wanted to buy it on PS4. And I'm kind of glad I did, because that, that game is so much fun. 
And I still have my PS3, but I don't play in my room very often. I mean, why play with PS3 when you have a PS4? So, which makes me really reconsider the whole uh, Uncharted series. I wasn't going to get it because I have it on PS3, but I'm thinking I probably will now. Because I enjoy it and I don't touch my PS3 anyway. Last night I was helping a friend um, get through the story mode on Destiny. He just started a character not too long ago. I didn't stream it, but uh, I should have because it would have been good advertising for the Sherpa. But um, it was kind of fun. I got another friend involved. We got him through Nightfall and Fallen are getting smarter. Like the entire system is wired to the it. weekly under hard. I'll work faster. It's always nice seeing other Destiny players succeed. And with this new one year thing going on, where you have to have everything done by September 15th, um, I think things are going to get a little challenging for people because they need to find their chest, which we're working on now. Um, you have to pass Crota on hard, Vault of Glass on hard, um, Skolas on Prison of the Elders, and there's a few other things that you have to do. I can't think of it offhand, but the only thing I have left to do is pass Skolas, and then I got my year one emblem, which you don't receive until the break of uh, the Rising King or whatever it's called. The new DLC. Which, by the way, I will be streaming it the first day it comes out. because I can. Who knows, I might even stream it at midnight when it's released. If I'm up. That would be fun, playing it before everybody else. one other person. Did the other guy leave us? I think he did. Close. But just so you know, there's more fallen and hive on the way. Oh stop. Blow your asses up. I'm gonna die actually. That's what really is gonna happen. Sniper, the other sniper. I can't shoot him, shooting like I'm drunk. I'm not even drunk playing. So almost every planet, you have to go through um, a strike for the last one. 
for the last chest, which is kind of annoying, but um, it's just the way it is, I guess. be close to it. I think Ghost needs to wake up. It's taking too damn long. These top suey guys need to die. When I first got Destiny, this was like the hardest level for me to pass. It drove me nuts. It took me hours just to get through this. Now it's kind of like... I don't know. I don't really have to think anymore to play. Which, that part I don't like, because a lot of the time I play to get my mind off of stuff. But it's okay. It's still a fun game, nevertheless. I blew his head up. Barrier is down. We can move now. So here's a little tip that you may or may not know. Instead of going and hiding Under underneath the bridge ship, like I normally would, I stay right here. Places. If you could jump up to the second pipe, that would be ideal. I don't think I can though, I'll try. Okay. Nope. Yeah, I can't. So I'm just going to jump to the second pipe pipe. Maybe. There we go. And what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to stand back here and snipe. And the location that we're at, they can't really shoot back. Now it's next open, so that's the perfect time to send your rocket into it. We want to make this nice and quick. And I'm going to snipe his other leg that I'm trying to shoot off. And it's taking forever. Shoot. His neck's open. I'm going to shoot a couple of rockets off. And as you notice, I haven't taken any fire from the walker at all. Or taken on any fire. And it's because I'm too far away. Shoot another rocket. He should be pretty close to dying. So then after that, when we uh, go up to where the walker is, there's going to be a bunch of enemies that you need to be ready for. Um, it's 
So what I like to do is go around and just kind of shoot them. As you can see, the other guy that I'm playing with is also a hunter. He already took care of them. Nothing to worry about. Now we're going to the main place where you will find your fifth chest that we did all this for. So, I'm going to go out there. This is the devil's lair. And might eat a rocket telemetry. When you come out, you have to kill all these little drakes first before the captain starts. After that, there's two different places that you could actually go. You could go into this room over here, or you could go up here. Actually, there's three, because there's also a space underneath the deck that you could go to as well. Okay, so all the little drag guys are dead. So the eye is going to start moving. And basically, if this was a real eyeball, what you would be wanting to do, what you would be wanting to do, oh my gosh, I'm stuttering, is shoot the pupil if it was the real eye. So, as you notice, every time I shoot the pupil, the health goes down quite a bit. Jazzy, yeah, stop eating here. Okay, and then... These shanks will come up here, but you only have two of them, which really isn't that bad considering. If we were on the lower flo floor, we would have all kinds of captains coming at us, drakes, it would be a mess. That's why I come up here. I'm going to shoot off a couple of rockets. Icebreaker that might help a little. There's going to be a ship coming down pretty soon. Um, if you stay in this corner, for the most part, the ship does not see you, so you won't get shot by them but you will have um, a couple more shanks come up. But I don't think we're going to get to that point because he's almost dead. There you go. So in order to get that last chest that I was talking about, you're going to come downstairs. Well and I must Civics have already gone because the chest would be the right there. With its destruction, the fallen devils will so once again, fifth chest Must on earth would be right there. You would have to go upright, through the strike to get to it. Find ways to survive. They always do. So now we're going to go to the moon. So the first place we're going to go on the moon is the Hellmouth entrance. So going to the moon, going to patrol the moon. It looks like I have two out of five chests. The way I could tell is if you look over to the left hand side, you can see the two forward slash five. That means I have gotten two out of the five chests. So if I go to earth, it now shows I got five out of five chests. So I'm missing three chests on the moon. So let's go get them. And as you can see, it, this is pretty time consuming just going around getting chests. We've already taken about 35 minutes um, just to get through Earth. So I'm going to say it's probably going to be about the same thing to get through the moon. But knowing um, the location of where all the items are is half the struggle. Alright. 
right. Maybe picking up a few beacons. Where to? We're going to the Hell's Mouth. So on the way to the Hell's Mouth, um, there is a location where there is a chest. It's over by where that short jump is. I'll show you here in just a second. Okay, so there's this jump. And then on the left hand side there's a bunch of rocks, right? So it is going to be over here. Right where that guy is going. I passed it. It's right here. So once again, going towards the hell mouth, you see the jump. Actually, you, you'll see this right here, which is a short jump. The rocks are to the left-hand side, and that is where you'll find your first chest. All right, so now we're going for the second chest. Which is Hell's Mouth. I'm sorry, that was the first chest for Hell Hell's Mouth. The second one is going to be in the Halls of Wisdom. Which, you know what, I'm actually thinking it'd probably be faster to get to uh, Halls of Wisdom a different way. Because that one's just... All the caves are linked together, so I mean eventually I would get to the Hell's Mouth. But I know a quicker way, so... And we'll be able to pick up two chests this way instead of just one. So we're basically going back to the beginning. Believe it or not, this is the fastest way. I should have done it first. But. And we're going to go up in this dome. Right here. So, if you uh, go all the way down to the end of this tunnel, like right here, there's a puddle of water. If you follow it back, there's a chest right there. 
So once again, you go through the dome, follow the, the sidewalk all the way down until you get to here, jump in the puddle of water, follow the stream all the way back, and to the left corner, you'll find your chest. Now we're going to go to the Halls of Wisdom, which is basically further down, going to pass these guys and then we're going to take another left and we will be in the Hall of Wisdom. And if you want to ever want to know uh, where you are, just press on the touchpad. Oh, I guess we're already in the Halls of Wisdom. So that might have actually been the Halls of Wisdom to begin with. Yep, so that was the Halls of Wisdom. That's the one that we wanted. Now we're going to the Hive Library. So the easiest way to do this is we're going to go play uh, the World's Grave. And at the very end of the strike, we will find our chest. You don't have to do it this way. It's just easier and quicker to do it this way rather than staying with patrol. So we're going to the World's Grave. Help if I was on the right planet. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna do it on easy. Because we're not really doing this to play, we're just doing it for the chest. There's got to be a way to find out what the Hive are planning. That ghost we recovered found a library in their fortress called the World's Grave. It's said to hold everything they know So about once again, I'm going to advertise my Sherpa. There. I'll steal all I can. I am a Sherpa for Destiny. I uh, help people level 20 and under. The reason it's under 20 is because generally those are the people who need the help the most. And plus, I won't do strikes unless I have a full team. Deep in their fortress. Um, so if you have but a full team and you need an extra person, I'm willing to do it. But I'm not going to put a team together because to that's kind of hard to do. You'll have to face him to find the grave. Um, just join my stream. Let me know what level you want to go in. I will stop what I'm doing. I make you leader. And we get your levels done that you need help on. And you can ask me any questions you want. I'm okay with it. I'm having deja vu, weren't we just here? I think we were. Ouch, that hurt. Oh, get out of my face. So once again, the we're really tore into the moon. on this sidewalk. Filled we're going all, all the way down. Chambers and catacombs. All the way down. Chest would be in that area. For your second chest, as we covered before. It's a whole necropolis down here. So you can also watch some of these uh, videos on YouTube as well, um, as on Twitch. I transfer all the videos to my YouTube account. And if you have any advice, please do not be afraid to give me advice. I am open to constructive criticism. If you're going to be a douchebag on the other hand, then keep your advice to yourself. But for the most part... I'm okay with you being critical on what you want to watch. After all, you are the viewer. But um, all I ask is that you're polite when you do it. You know what? I hate this part. 
I'm gonna die. I'm my hunter and I'm horrible with the hunter. It's too squishy. That was my dog you hear in the background again. What I think I think I am going to change subclasses so I could go invisible. All right, we're going for we're going for it. I'm done playing. We're gonna run right through all of this. Shrieker and all. Now we're in circle of bones. It's powerful. What's wrong, Jazz? But this knight holds the key to find What do you grave. see? What do you well, see, Jazz? <sighs> okay. So basically, we're going to run straight across through all of the stuff. I'm not going to stop. I'm just going to run. And we're going to go into a room on the left-hand side, which will take us to the world's grave. And I'm going the wrong way. I thought it was taking us somewhere else, but it's not. Oh well. told you I am known for getting lost so I I have to apologize for going in circles I think it wants us to go in this what does it want me to do it wants me to go in here okay we could do that to get the key for the world's grave. I guess. It's been a while since I played this level. It's like level 7 on the story mode. Jazzy? No. Alright. Where's my dude? That I have to fight. Is that it? I guess that was it. Alright, now we're going to the world's grave. This should lead us right to the grave. The world's grave. Not, Not ours. ours. I gotta go chuck city on all these guys. And that, my friend, is a blade dancer. Right there. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh, I read all the bullets. That kind of sucked. Oh well, he's dead anyway, right? 
That's it. There it is. So it's. I think it's going to be in this area right here. Let's see. I'll take that. So it's tucked at the bottom edge of a pool near the library. So let's look for a pool. Well, I don't think that's it's more of a tunnel. be in here. It might be in the other room. I bet you it's in the other room. So we're going to go in there and see if it is. Because I'm not seeing it in here. I don't think you guys either. You are either. Um, so here we go. I know there's a pool of water in here. But I'm not seeing it either. I might have already picked it up. But I would imagine it would be like right there. I woke him up. Yay! So for this one you guys, I'm not 100% sure. But if I remember right, it was like right in this area when I got it. I mean, obviously, if it's not the right one, I'll come back and we'll look again. But, um, I'm pretty sure it's in this area. Well, he has horrible aim. Another puddle of water over here, too. Next is the Temple of Crota. And then last would be the Summoning Pits.
so once again we're gonna go to the moon we're gonna go to uh patrol the moon we have four out of five of them so odds are where I showed you is where that chest is I just already have it so I couldn't show you So now we're going to the Temple of Crota, and that is, um, in a very specific spot, and I most likely do not actually have it on this particular character. But it'll be easier to show you then, explain. Picking up beacon signals all around. I'm gonna go crazy. Here we go. So we're going to the Temple of Corona. So I'm taking a right. I'm gonna ignore all these guys who are gonna be firing at me. And we are... Going through all this crap. It's straight into the Temple of Corona. Sorry, I'm yawning, guys. Excuse me. <laughs> ah, shoot. Okay, so. Taking a left, going all the way down. Man, I'm a horrible shot today. I swear, I think I was drinking or something. So once again, I am Mocha Girl 98 Um, please be sure to subscribe. I also have a YouTube channel where I'm featuring these videos as well. Under the same tag, Mocha Girl 98. It might be Mocha Gen 98, but um, be sure to watch and follow on Twitter as well. And we are right now looking for gold chest. We finished Earth. We're about to finish the Moon, and then we'll be moving on to Venus. The gold chest that we're going to be getting is in kind of a tricky spot, so once I get it, I'm going to most likely jump out because I'm playing my hunter and my hunter can't jump. But anyway, there's the gold chest right down there, which I just died. <laughs> Made me start all over again. Rat ass bastards. Alright, so once again, we're going to get that gold chest if it kills me. No pun intended. <laughs> Alright. So this time I'm going to kill these guys because I think that's one of the main reasons I died was because I was rushing it. Um, I'm going to want to jump there. And I missed it again. <clears throat>
So this time I think I'm going to see if I can't just directly jump down rather than... Alright, there we go. Alright, so there's my fourth chest. Now we're going to do the summoning pit. And like on Earth, we have to go through the entire mission before we could get the chest on the summoning pits. So, I'm going to go to the moon. and do the strike summoning pits. And then after this, we will be doing Venus. And then Mars. So I, where I am right now, it's actually 70 degrees outside. It would be a great Something day to go out to the beach. The of the we can feel it. A little bit windy. A hive abomination bred for unthinkable evil. I'm blessed with living on the coast and having that available to me at any time. I'm very lucky to have that. Before the hive unleash it upon us all. Hopefully we'll get a good solid team so we can go through this really quickly. This was your idea. Let's go find this abomination. Has anybody ever noticed how annoying the ghost is? So negative. telling how far down we'll have to go to find the summoning pits. to get through. I'll try to open that gate. Oh, did you guys do that? that? Was freaking awesome! They all blew up. <laughs> that was cool. I'm not gonna lie. All right. we should join up a uh, ghost with an ominous maybe we could get in quicker all 
I love my icebreaker. It's my favorite gun. You'll hear me say that every day. I always have it equipped. I feel naked if I don't have my icebreaker. The witchy poo's coming. Guardian down. Oh, whatever. Get out of my face. No shit, Sherlock. I'm starting to sense a pattern. I'm gonna sit here and tell you what's going on while you're fighting for your life. And then be sarcastic about it at the end. Alright. So for the person who just join my name is mocha girl 98 basically what I am doing is I am looking for golden chest I know it doesn't look like it right now but we have to go through the summoning pits to get the last chest on the moon we have already covered um, earth so we're finishing up the moon and then we will be going on to Got Venus it. The gates opening if you have any questions feel free to ask I will answer them the best I can All right, time to kill the Ogre. He's one ugly. Oh shoot. Ha. I was focusing on the Ogre and forgot about the brawl. And yes, I know it's an Ogre. I just call him Ogre because I can. Sounds like we're getting closer. So the question is, at the end of this, should I be nice and stick around, or should I bail after I get the chest? Actually, I don't think I'm going to get the chest. I already got it, so I'll just stick around. We're almost done anyway. I'm all going the wrong way. And this guy's following me. Sorry, dude. We took the long way around. I'll show you where you get your chest. I think the other person bailed on us. So basically when you want to get your chest, you're going to go all the way down. To here. So this bottom platform and your chest will be right there and that's where the fifth chest is. Which I have already picked up. So once again, fifth chest, right there, summoning pitch. You have to go through the entire strike in order to get it, unfortunately. Okay, now we're going to kill this guy. Hopefully we can do it quite quickly so we can move on to Venus. I mean, if you want to stay and finish the strike, it's up to you. Um, I personally don't like it when people bail on me. That's why I'm staying, even though I'm doing a show. Uh, shoot. 
shoot him in the butt. And we got a guardian down somewhere. That was risky. I don't suggest anybody who's new at this game doing that. should have went invisible when I got him but I'm not used to playing the hunter so uh, yeah I forgot I had that feature if you hit him in the belly like I am that is his precision shot not the head so if you snipe it you'll notice that he'll it up and then he'll go back down it's because I hit his little precision shot area now I'm gonna kneel and go invisible this time and go get this guardian who's down Visible going back to my spot where I can hide and be safe. And I'm going for his stomach again. for this to be over. I don't know what my teammates are doing right now, but I'm about done with this guy. We've already had two ships coming. He's about dead. There he goes. Finally, the abomination has been destroyed. The vanguard will be great. All right. So once again, a creature. The golden chest is right there and our worlds we are now going to venus so to cover what we've done so far um for earth you're going to find your locations in dock 13 moth yards lunar complex forgotten shore and the strike devil's lair at the very end of the strike um underneath the deck. I think it would be on the left hand side. The moon was the Hellmouth, Hive Library, Hall of Wisdom, Temple of Crota, and what you just seen, the Summoning Pit. So now we're going to Venus, and the first place we are going to go to is um, the Shattered Shore. And we're going to go patrol Venus. And I didn't see how many I actually have on Venus. Okay, so it looks like I only have one out of five chests on Venus. So most of them you guys get to watch me pick up. So that's good news um, for you guys. So you can vi vis sorry, visibly see it. Um, so we're going to Shatter Shore. Here we go.
You lead the way. So I'm going left. I'm not sure if that's the quickest way to get to the shower tour. Yes, I know, I just ran into a cliff. It is funny. If you're laughing, I completely understand. Um, like I stated earlier, I'm a little bit underneath the weather, so sorry if I'm not so enthusiastic or I don't sound very happy. I am, in fact, happy. Just, um, not going too hot, so I do apologize. So, we're going to go through the shatter shore and oh you know what I think I know exactly where it is give me one second I'm thinking I'm not gonna do it in order sorry This is on our way, so I figure we're doing Campus 9 first. So you're going to run through all of this crap right here. And... your first Venus chest. Now we're going to Shattered Shore. So that was Campus 9. And if you notice, I just basically ran around. I'm not really fighting these guys because I want this to go by as quickly as possible. To get my way, yes, I'm going to kill them. Back to the shower shore as we go. Basically, you just follow this road, try not to run into cliffs like I do. We're just going in one big circle. be entering the Shattered Shores any second now. As you notice, I am actually ignoring most of what's going on here. So we're in the cha Shattered Coast right now. So what I'm looking for is a broken surface uh, underneath a building. So so here's a building. I 
I don't know where this one is, quite honestly, guys. I don't remember getting it. I don't recall seeing any other buildings, do you? building I see is over here so it has to be I bet you maybe it's over on that building what do you guys think check it out not a golden chest but it's a chest Entirely sure where it is, guys. This might take longer than I wanted it to. Can't be that building over there because there's really no way to get to it. So it has to be here somewhere. We'll go in here and see if that's where this golden chest is. This is the only place I could think of. Because it's sit on top of the stairs. looking. Worst case, uh, worst case scenario is we'll come back. What's in here? Anything? Another chest, not a golden one. There's a chest in here. I wonder if that's the one that they're talking about. Let's just keep looking though really quick. I'm almost willing to bet that is the one that, th that we're looking for. than anything. Because <sighs> only stuff I'm seeing are these right here, and I'm not seeing the chest. And what it says is just under the broken surface of this building. So it is the tunnel. I just misread it. So we're going back to the tunnel.
which is fine because the last one without doing a strike is on its way there anyway. So. Would be in this area right here, I believe. Which I already got it, so. Next is gonna be over where the Nexus is. It's a pretty easy location. I'm just gonna go through all this. Again, ignore the guys once again. Okay, so right here is like where you start the Nexus Strike. And we're gonna act like we are starting the Nexus Strike. We're gonna run through all this. Go straight back. So then right here we're going to swing a right. And your golden chest is right there. Hold on, I gotta kill these guys to get them in there. She just go invisible. I'm gonna end up dying just for golden chest. Go invisible, go invisible. Come on, thank you. So, there's your fourth golden chest. Now we are going to do a strike, I believe. As soon as I can get to a safe place, I'm going to go to orbit. So, that golden chest is in the N slash gen branch. We're too short. Sorry, my bad. All right, so we're going back to the to Venus, and there's um, another chest that is in the uh, Winter Lair area. There's actually two chests in that area, so we don't have to do a strike on this one. I stand corrected. I received an uh, invitation to play with my friend Stryker, so after we're done gathering all the chests, we'll see what he's up to, and maybe he's doing like Prison of Elders or something fun. But what I wanted to do is make sure that I got a video out there to help people find their chests, because everybody's trying to get that year one emblem, so if I can help you, I will. Well, let's see what kind of trouble we can get right. into. So this time we're gonna take a left. And we're gonna go to Ember Caves. Gosh, my driving today is horrible. It's driving me crazy. Makes me wanna sing that song. I've seen better days. I should put on some music. Maybe after I'm done um, trying to get up here. I apologize, guys. I'm horrible with the hunter. I hardly ever play my hunter. The only reason why I'm playing him now is because he's the only one who has not gotten on my chest. So. And I want you guys to actually visually see these chests as many of them as possible, so 
I had to opt in to use the hunter to do this with you guys today. All right, so we're going all the way down in these caves. And if you give me just a minute, I'm gonna turn on some music for background because I think that will make it a little bit better because this stream is kind of dry, even for me. Um. <laughs> Give me one moment. I'm going to pump up some iTunes. Go listen to some underground music. I guess apparently I didn't download it on my computer. That's okay, I got an iPhone now. I'll do it that way. in any of my stuff apparently because that new uh, iMusic thing's out and that's what wants to play. And because of copyright issues, I have permission to play the music from one of the artists, which that's the music I'm going to play. I'm not sure how copyright is with other random artists that I don't personally know, so... out of the way. Come on, come back. Let me stab you in the face. Alright, so your other chest... Oh. Come back here, little drink, so I can kill you. Thank you. You're gonna have to walk out on the ledge. And... Whoa! It's right there, if you see it. I just fell. These guys are annoying. They just, like, need to die. If I could get back up there easily. <sighs> All right. So let's try this again without me falling again. I don't even. I'm not even entirely sure I could get it because I'm playing my hunter, and like I said earlier, I don't play the hunter very well so I, in fact I'm not even gonna get it right now just know it's right there okay I'll come back and get it when I'm on my own time because this has taken entirely too long so the last chest that we're gonna get is on that little ship or boat, whatever you want to call it.
you don't even have to kill him. You could probably even, if you're a high enough level, just run through it like I'm going to. Okay, go onto this boat. And you're gonna go all the way back. And there's your final gold test for Venus. So I'm gonna back out of this. Now it's gonna show that I have four out of five of the chests and that is because I didn't want to take your guys' time up with me trying to jump over there. So, um... I'm looking at music right now so I could get something in the background. Pump it up. And this is my friend, uh, Davina. She's an underground artist. Uh, Davina Joy. If you guys are wondering. So let's make sure I got four out of five. I got four out of five. So we found all the locations for uh, Venus. Now we're going to Mars. That's her brother, Jordan. So, to go over what we just did, Earth Locations, Dock 13, Moth Yards, Lunar Complex, Forgotten Shore, and the Devil's Lair. The Moon Locations are Hellmouth Entrance, Hive Library, Hall of Wisdom, Temple of Crota, and the Summoning Pits. Remember, you have to do both Devil's Lair and the Summoning Pits uh, Strike, Venus, the Shattered Shore, Cap and Slime, in forward slash gin branch winter's lair and the centers and finally mars location so first place we're going is the barons Okay, so I skipped the barons. We'll go back up there in a minute. So up in this broken roof, we have our second chest because I skipped the first one. I could get up there no problem with my um, other characters, but this one's a little bit harder. So bear with me again. You guys are great for dealing with my My horrible jumping skills. Okay, I'm not gonna waste your guys' this time with this one too. If I can't get up there, I'll just give you a general location. Which I'm thinking I probably won't be able to get up there. Yeah. So anyway, if you jump up in this roof, it's in the corner. Um, that's where one of the chests are. 
The other ones is in the Barrens. It's painfully obvious. That's where the first chest is. The second chest is in the barrens where I just showed you. The third chest is... going to be in Dust Palace. If you're wondering what I'm listening to, it's Davina, Beauty and the Beast. You could get on iTunes. She's a local artist in California. She's one of my friends, so be sure to support her. And she also has like four other albums out too. Very down to earth person. I have nothing but nice things to say about her. It's from the Bay Area, just like I am. Okay, so what we're doing is now we're in Dust Palace. We're looking for room three. Here's room three right here. Come behind the desk. There's your third gold chest. Now I could jump. Just trying to get out of this so we could go to the next place. The next chest is going to be in the iron line. I'm going to try to hit this roof up one more time. Because I really want to be able to show you where it is. Jeez. There has to be a way for me to get up there. I mean, I'm not the only hunter. Oh well. So now we're going 
to the iron line. Quite a ways over there. It takes a while, so uh and it's in an area I would have never guessed, to be honest with you guys. Yeah, just try to rush these guys. I really don't want to deal with them. I don't know why I was going in there out of habit, I guess. It's actually this building right here that we're going to go into. This should look familiar to you. This is actually in a strike. So we're going to fight all these guys, kill most of them, because they're just going to get in the way. So I might as well just get rid of them now, then have to worry about it later. Hopefully you guys are familiar with this area and you've done it in the strike. Yeah, kill the rabbit. There's still some stuff alive. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to jump up on these pipes, which I'm about ready to switch characters to finish this, just to show you where everything is, getting agitated. Alright, so you jump on that, and you go over here, and you want to jump on that ledge over there, and at the very, very back of that, um, there's a chest. See if I can't figure out a different way to get up there. So anyways, so yeah, just jump onto that pipe. You jump from 
this ledge to this ledge to this ledge and in the very back you will find your gold chest The last one is on the mission, the Rising Tide. So we are going to the Rising Tide. I think I have a checkpoint. So we won't have to go through the entire level. And then after this, I'm going to check up with Striker and see what he's up to and see if he's doing anything fun. Maybe we'll do some strikes or something. It is Monday. Tomorrow is the reset day. The Vex are taking control of the surface to protect the Black Garden. Mars could soon be worse than Venus. We've got to find out where they're coming from. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop off Eric because I'm saving this to put on YouTube. And then I will be right back on with a new... Uh, title but this video is specifically made for um for you guys to know where the chests are i do have a checkpoint which is awesome because i really didn't it's feel like, like doing that whole level dormant networks buried under every planet waiting to be revived Transfer gates down here. Shut them down. So we don't even have to do this whole entire level. So if you have the checkpoint already for previous bounties, then you're golden. Because it'll be a pretty quick mission. We're going to go back here. go in this cage and there is your final chest so I'm going to review one more time what we've covered because I was unable to get some of the chests myself for the simple fact that I am a uh, hunter and I can't jump worth crap I'm not a very good hunter player so here we go so first thing we covered was Earth locations, which was Dock 13, Lunar Complex, Moth Yards, Forgotten Shore, and Devil's Lair. Um, second was Hellmouth Entrance, Hall of Wisdom, Hive of Library, Temple of Crota, and the Summoning Pits. You have to play the Strike in order to get it. On Venus, it was the Shattered Shore. Uh, in forward slash gin branch campus nine winter's lair and the cinders and what we just did was mars barents dust palace hollows iron line and tharsis junction so there you have it you have two hours worth of finding chests just for you hopefully this helps you so it doesn't take you two hours to figure it out um Thank you for watching. Once again, this is Mocha Girl 98 I'm on almost every day from 1 o'clock to about 4. Um, sometimes I'll stream at nighttime. Um, mostly I have cameras on, but today I'm having to lay down because I'm not well. So, the camera is off. I do apologize for that. Uh, advertise with my buddy Davina Joy, which is what you're listening to right now. 
kick it on iTunes. This is Beauty and the Beast. She has a new album that she just released. I highly suggest it. Uh, other than that, thanks again for watching. Be sure to follow me. Give me some ideas. Oh, I almost forgot. Sherpa. I am a Sherpa. If you are under t uh, level 20 and you see me streaming and you need help with the level, just jump in. I'll make you a leader and we'll get you through that level. Not a big deal. Um, I know when I was a beginner, I was getting frustrated all the time. I'll return here in a few minutes. Uh, hopefully, I'll be doing something fun like uh, Prison of Elders or something. I don't know. I got to connect with some friends. So, thanks again for watching. I appreciate you. You guys have an awesome day.